Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another tutorial for you guys, trying to pop out these tutorials, and this is another fall makeup look. This one is a little bit more green, a little bit more foresty looking, and I will be using the Kai Shadow Palette by Kylie Cosmetics for all of my mattes in this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and start off by priming my eyelid with one of my favorite primers. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and get the lightest color in the Kai Shadow Palette. This is like an off-white color. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my lid. Just so that when I apply the other eyeshadows, it is easier to blend. I find that this really helps me out with that. And I'm just using like a fluffy brush to apply it all over my lid. Now just trying to pat the color in and blend it out. And once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and get my transition color, which is going to be this bright orange shade in the palette. And I'm going to be applying this all in my crease. I'm using a Tish Beauty brush for this. I'll go ahead and have all the names and possibly most of the links down below. The number on this one faded out, but it's just a blending brush. And I'm just applying this in my crease. I'm sure you guys have seen it many, many times. Alright, now with the same type of blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and get more of this really warm, earthy, reddish brown color in the palette. And I'm going to be applying this exactly where I applied the orange color, just a little bit below my waterline on the corners. And just spreading it out more, making it more of a winged type of eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to be moving on to a shimmery shadow by MAC Cosmetics. This shadow is called I Like to Watch and it is one of their dazzle shadows. And I will be building this on with my finger. So I think at one point I even like wet my finger a little bit with some water and just apply the shadow. I feel like I get the most pigmentation out of shimmery shadows this way. And there is a lot of fallout with the MAC Dazzle shadows from my experience. So I kind of really have to work with them. But I find it worth it just because the colors are so pretty. And they look really, really nice. And I'm just like blending out in my crease because I don't want really like shimmers in my crease. So I apply it and then blend out my crease. Now I'm going to be adding some glitter. This is Eye Candy Cosmetics and this glitter is called... This glitter is called Twizzle Stick Sugar. And I'm also using their adhesive which is called Liquid Sugar and just a flat synthetic brush for this. And I'm just applying that over the green color and a little bit more towards the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to go back with the MAC Dazzle shadow and apply it more in the inner corner of my eye. So we could have kind of like a gradient look going on. And applying it like completely in the inner corner of my eye as well. Alright, now I am done with my eyeshadow and I'm going to move on to my liquid liner. I'm using NYX Cosmetics. I'm so sorry, as you can see, totally missed the camera on here, but just did my usual wing and I'm actually gonna go back in my eyeshadow and use the dark brown in the Kai shadow palette there we go and I'm gonna be using a smaller blending brush this one is from Uvia's Place and I'm kind of gonna be following like my crease pattern and just kind of sticking towards the outer corner of my eye just to give the shadow a little bit more of dimension and depth and I want to blend out towards like underneath my brow so it won't look like there's any harsh lines there now for my lashes I'm gonna be using iris beauty lashes in the style fearless very dramatic and moving on to my face makeup I'm gonna be using the Frankie Rose cosmetics prime addiction primer really really like this primer it feels very like silicone and soft on the face and for my foundations I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills warm tan stick foundation 
And I find that I like to use this foundation mix with another foundation. I don't really think that it worked out for me like by itself, especially in hot weather. Maybe in colder weather, I'll be able to get away with it. But for now, I am mixing it with Makeup Forever HD foundation. And this is in the shade 128. And I am just using a beauty blender to blend it out. Remember, beauty blender has got to be damp. You gotta use a damp. All right, and for my concealers, I'm gonna be using Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in the shade medium. And then on top of that one, underneath my eyes, I'm gonna be using a Frankie Rose Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Fresh, which is a very, very light shade. It's like close to white, but I like to do this when my concealer isn't light enough for my under eye. And I'm just blending out my concealer with my beauty blender as well. And now for my translucent powder, I'm actually going to be using the Morphe translucent powder. I've been starting to use it a lot more and I've really really been liking how it looks lately. And this is just a regular translucent powder. I know they have a yellow one. And I'm just baking with this one. I'm going to be baking underneath my eyes, on my chin, and like right beneath where I would contour. And I do have a discount code with Morphe. It is Alva J for 10% off. I will say you really got to like dust it off because if not, it will set in like an ugly way. And to contour and just bronze up my face a little bit. I'm going to be using my Holy Grail Contour Palette, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Original Contour Kit. And I'm just using a Sonia Kashuk Blush Brush for this. Just contouring my nose a little bit with the regular eyeshadow brush. It does look a little bit muddy and I do kind of like go back and forth and just kind of blend it out. And now for my blush, I'm going to be using a Tarte Cosmetics like a little mini holiday blush. This is in the color Pop. And I'm going to be using a Sonia Kashuk blush brush for this as well. And for my highlight, I will be using Anastasia Beverly Hills, the original highlighters. This is in the color So Hollywood. I don't know if they make these anymore, but they should. And to apply my highlight, I'm using a Morphe fan brush. This is from their metal collection. For my lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with Kylie Cosmetics in the color Brown Sugar. But on top of my lips, I'm going to be using Kylie Cosmetics Exposed just to give me like a little gradient going on ombre lip type of look. And that is basically the makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys like this makeup look. This actually has to be one of my favorite makeup looks that I've done recently. And yeah, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all of that. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Bye!